Hello, Simon. How are you today? Good, good. Thank you, my friend. So last time we talked about bank feeds on Zoho Books. This time we're talking about tag reporting. Why tag reporting is even something that I need to consider as a business owner? Yeah, that's a good. It's a really, really good question. Um, out of the box, most accounting software is a report very straight line. It's it's just you know the regular right. profit, profit and loss. loss. Yeah. yeah, income expenses. Tag reporting pretty much allows you to break that down into specific segments. You know, breaking it down to specific reporting needs that you want. It could be a region. It could be an employee. It could be a type of business. So. It's just really about taking this profit and loss and splitting it out and basically making sure that you can report a little bit deeper. So, so let's much- say that I have 10 subcontractors. Mm-hmm. They will generate me income, mm-hmm. but I will also have expenses of them. Maybe travel expenses, maybe uh, you know the, the pay that I need to give them. Do I have a way to see all my 10 subcontractors and see my profit as a business based on the expenses and income yeah. that I had for each one of them? Absolutely, yeah. And we'll, we'll run through an example on how to set it up from start to go. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, it'll be nice and easy. And this way you can see it from kind of the start of the product to the end um, and understand it a little bit better. But yes, you can, you can totally split out your profit and loss based off of any segmentation. And uh, the beauty of it is you can really tie in revenue to expenses. You know how much let, an employee costs, or let, let's say that I have, I'm a marketing agency. Mm-hmm. I have in my company the services SEO, social media, AdWords, Facebook, and posts. Mm-hmm. Those are the, my five services. Mm-hmm. Do I have a way to know my profitability based on each one of those five? Totally. Yes. Absolutely. And you know, from the get go, you're servicing when you're selling and making invoices, you're using item codes. But when you're right. using item codes, you can only report on the sales piece and not the expenses, right? That's right. Because you can see how much money you earned from each yeah. item, but it's bullshit. Exactly. Because you don't know the expenses you had for each one of them. Yeah. And also when you're doing this, you can break it down the expenses by category, right? But that would be too much work for the bookkeeper, too much you know, you have to really look into it and try to decipher which one is which. And then you put it on the PL. And when it's in the PL, it's all together and you can't really clean out the others and just see one segment of the business. Perfect. Okay. So let's let's dive into it. Let's see sure. what's going on. Sure. So you're going to show us how to config them, yeah. how to do the reporting. Yeah. Fantastic. The whole thing. Yeah. The, the tag reporting was probably one of the main reasons for me moving from QuickBooks to Zoho Books. Yeah, and it yeah. changed everything. Since yeah. you created the reports for me, uh, as you already know, there are like five different services that we used to do, which I thought that they were profitable services. And since then I removed them because they were losers after getting all the expenses related to those services. Yeah, it's, it's a really, really good tool to use, especially if it's there. QuickBooks has, you know, the linear one. So you can report based off of straight line and, and you can do some tag reporting, but it's pretty complex in terms of just like the way that they set it up, which is why now, by the way, they have something called tag reporting. This is a oh. new thing that they've developed, but it's just tags. It's adding little words and keywords to your expenses, but that's different. Uh, this is, is still it the same like Zoho books that you can create products, assign tags to them. And you know, uh, exactly. not necessarily, it's not, it's not the same, you know, people want to make the same comparison, but the one that Zoho developed has a hierarchy and it follows the same segmentation that more expensive software like Oracle or SAP have. So mm-hmm. they kind of went, we're just going to try and do something a little bit more professional. I'll show you. I see. So this is, um, this is like an, a bookkeeping company. Okay. It's yes. just a, a sample that we have. Yep. Um, and the way that you set up your tag reporting, and I'm just going to dive right in, right? Yep. It's you go into this section right here. So and click on the gear icon reporting tags. Now, when you click new reporting tag, it's pretty straightforward. And they kind of explain what you can do with this reporting tag. So they say, okay, what the tag name is. So this could be employee so, so just one second before you, you you proceed me as a business owner before i go to and click on create tag reporting i need to know what i like to report on mm-hmm. 
because otherwise it's useless, right? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. You want to know what the biggest like influencers are in your industry, in your business, in, in pretty much in your day to day, whether it's the subcontractors or employees that are putting in or bringing in the revenue um, or whether it's the geographical area that you're servicing. If you're a service company, for example, um, this could also be the actual line of business because that could be really important, right? Like you said, companies can lose so much money and have no idea that this is happening. So right. we're going to set up a couple of them and okay. we like to, we like to put the first two initials and then the last two initials of the last name. This is me and you, I saved mm -hmm. it and then we'll create another one. We can call it, um, division or that's, that's another way. So for example, one could be, if it's a bookkeeping company, one could be bookkeeping tax, uh, consulting. We'll keep it very simple. We're just setting up two simple ones. Now, some companies like to go and do up to five, you know, segmentations, it's, it can get pretty complex because the more you add, you have to keep this in mind. The more you add, the more work you have to put in, the more work the bookkeeper has to put in to make sure that the book books are clean. Yeah. Now that the bottom line is once you get this done and you're using tag reporting for, let's say half a year, the beautiful thing is you can then pull all of this into the analytics platform with Zoho. So question for you. Yeah. So let and that's also tying to what can you expect from your bookkeeper. So you, yeah. you guys, for example, you're doing Zo bookkeeping, and that's something that you do for clients. Am I correct? Yeah, yeah. Is it something that that clients supposed to ask their bookkeepers to do that for them to create this hierarchy? Yeah, they can. Yeah, yeah. exactly. They can definitely ask. Um, some companies may not understand it or know, especially if it's like a small mom and pop bookkeeping shop. Um, but yeah, you can, you can definitely even ask us, drop us an email. We'll help you out if you need anything. Okay. But in general, if I already have a bookkeeper and I don't want to replace him, I can ask my bookkeeper and he should know what to do here. Absolutely. This is okay. so straightforward. It's, it should be easily configured. It's not okay. rocket science. So we've developed these two. Uh, yes. Now here, here's the beautiful thing. Uh, with Zoho, you can get this, the end result a couple of ways. You can go one by one from every transaction. Okay. So you can click on something like this. And that's related to our last week video, the bank fits. Yeah. You can click here on an expense. Let's just go in here into expenses. We'll keep it nice and clean. Okay. So you can click here, click advertising, or let's just say cost of goods sold. $12. Okay. So in paid. case, so, so right now we're simulating an expense that yeah. is related to one of our employees. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So we paid for it with the credit card. It's cost of goods sold. Now here at the bottom, you have associate tags. Okay. And here you could put the division. So if this was an expense, you know, for the consulting side of things, mm -hmm. and this was something that you expense, then I can click those two and put that there. Okay. okay. So we click save, click update done. Now, the other beautiful thing is you can always do the loading. So when you do any uploads, you can do imports and you can import mass updates of entries with tag reporting associated with them. So tag reporting is something you can upload, okay? With an expense, with income, whatever it might be. Okay, so that's one thing. You've done the expense side of it. Now let's talk about the sales. This is kind of an interesting one because you have a couple of ways of doing this and automating this a little bit better. Now with the customers, you can actually, in the customer field, we're now in the, you know, create a customer area. Mm -hmm. You can set up a customer to be tied to a specific tag. This is kind of cool. So for example, if I know that this, you know, test number two or one is always going to be consulting, we can literally put consulting here. That's only if he's using the same line of business all the time. Exactly. Yeah. So this is going to be pre-populated every time an invoice is created. So A, it saves a lot of time. B, it saves a lot of headaches, right? They, figuring out if you can or cannot do tag reporting or if you've done it. So here, let's just assume that this client test number one does division is consulting and you're the one who's handling it. So we're going to click save. <clears throat> Perfect. Now we've done the expense. We're now going to do the sale. So we're going to click new invoice and we're going to click one of the, you know, audit review. We'll call it consulting. Now, the way that you can check if this has tag reporting and you have to keep in mind because tag reporting is so, um, it's so like micro managed that every line item is the one that has the tag reporting. 
So right. when you click on the three dots, there's the tag reporting. Mm, and I you can see. see that it's automatically pre-filled based off the customer. Now I'm going to take this a step back. So hopefully everybody's still following. You could do the exact same thing, but with your item codes. Okay. Now, now one second. So let's say that if I spend some time mm -hmm. to structure my customers or items, mm -hmm. the system would automatically do the tag reporting for me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Every single time you enter the same item code or use the same customer, it will always punch in the exact same thing. So let's just go into audit review. We'll edit this and you see, you can associate tags here. Similar idea. Now let's do the test. Let's, let's actually create an invoice for this test customer. Uh, I think it was test one. Perfect. I'm going to click audit review and let's just assume we spent 1150 on it. Okay. Now we're going to click save as draft. I'm going to mark it as sent. Okay. Now here's the pretty thing about this whole idea, right? And what I'm going to do to make it a little bit more interesting for us is we're going to code another thing, like another service. And we're going to make sure that this is bookkeeping. Okay. Okay. So you have under one client, you have two different tag reports. Exactly. Okay. One invoice, two different tag reports. Now, and I'm going to code it as adjustment, click save. Okay. So now let's see, let's see the end result. This is the whole thing where we've been doing this whole video. Yep. What is the point of all of this? Okay. High level. This is your profit and loss for this mm -hmm. month of July. High yes. level. We know that we made a sale for 136.50 to one customer. The cost associated with that was the cost of this employee, you for $12. So bottom line, you know, <laughs> the business owner is like, wow, this is amazing. So incredible. How let's keep going. Right. Why not? Yes. And this is quite typical, right? Because uh, yep. you're a business owner. You're so busy with running your own business, doing what you do best. Right. It's you, you don't care much about the financials, but we're going to use the tag reporting under advanced filters. I think all every business owner cares about his financials as long mm -hmm. as he don't need to work on it. And that's, that's exactly it. Yeah. So we're going to first do it based off of employee. Okay. We're going to click this. We're going to go based off of Lior. Now, obviously nothing changes because you were the one who was handling the account from both segments. Now let's just go ahead and just click on the division. Now, if we click on bookkeeping, wow, we made money. And this is the driver of all the money that's in this profit and loss, right? At this point. But if we change this bookkeeping and we click consulting and we run the report, we see that we're in the negative in this segment of the business. That's what happened with me when you installed me the tag reporting from all the services. You know, I, I saw like the ones that I thought that winners, the amount of expenses were a killer and was yeah. loss. And we just killed those old services. Yeah, it's, it makes such a huge impact. And we just did this based off of, you know, two segmentations of tags with like three or two or three options in each. Right. Imagine doing this on a high scale company that can actually use this and utilize this to report properly. Right. It's a game changer. It's an absolute game changer. And the amount of surprises that we see from clients nowadays is phenomenal. They just, they're so shocked at the ability to do this. Yeah, yeah I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. It's, it's incredible. And honestly, it's such a unique tool that most people don't even know that Zoho has. You know, it's kind of hidden. They talk about it a little bit, but it's such a nicely developed tool that you can use throughout books and then in analytics as well. I mean, look, we, we've been using these for many, many years. The big companies like SAP have been using this for a long, long time. Right. So for, a, you know, a cloud accounting software to have this now, it's, it's a pretty big step. Um, and us as accountants, we love this stuff. Yeah, so you, can, you can use a small, inexpensive application and be like the big boys. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Now, one last question for you. Mm -hmm. How do I start thinking about on which sections of my business I like to report? Mm -hmm. how, how do you work with your clients and tell them, okay, I need you to do one, two, three, so I can get it set up for you? 
It's a, it's a really good question because a lot of people jump automatically to something that's standard, right? They, they go on YouTube, they look at every business is extremely different. And you have to ask yourself, what is the driver of the business? Now, driver is a very good word to use because a consulting company that uses employees as their revenue source mm -hmm. in terms of consulting hourly, that is the driver. So that could be one of the drivers. The so other one... Yeah. If I look at my business, for example, the drivers will be courses. Mm -hmm. It will be my consulting fees, yep. uh, so customization. So all those big buckets will be the different drivers. Is exactly. It yeah, okay. absolutely. And, okay. and within those drivers, you have different options. So um, the drivers in general could be the types of, you know, different segmentations. So for a company that does like a lot of, let's say the, there's a company that does garage doors. If they're servicing a region or a country or a state, you can break it out by, you know, a customer that's in the Northwest of the city, customer mm -hmm. that's in the East end of the city. And that could be, you know, based off of the income in that sector, the amount of money that they spend, the amount of advertising that's being pushed to that specific market. So we can tie in pretty high level details and go into the micro of all the financials. It's pretty, it's pretty incredible. Okay. Awesome. So basically if you want to do it yourself, start thinking about those drivers. Exactly. And now if I have the driver, let's say courses in mm -hmm. my case, the subcategory will be ZO CRM course, ZO forms course, right? You got so, it. Okay. 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 Exactly. Because okay. you have one header and then you're breaking it down. Fantastic. Okay. I'm learning a lot. Uh, even that I know the system, I'm learning a lot from those sessions. So it's uh, lots of value to me too. So, I appreciate right. it. Yeah. It's, it's so nice to be here. Honestly, it's such a pleasure and it's honestly uh, an honor. Fantastic. Thank you, Simon. We'll see you Anytime. next week. Bye-bye. Okay. Take care.